Due to popular request, new in version 1.5 is the ability to do sequential numbering when you're doing renaming. So let's take, for example, here we have a bunch of layers and they're all named the same thing. So I would like to, I don't know, in this case, I would like to take the extension off and then number them sequentially. So I'll change the scope to layer, um, let's see, layer names in the active comp. And we're going to replace uh, .png. And um, so now the new, by the way, if you hit the little help um, button here, you'll see this is where the special keywords are. And the new in version 1.5 uh, is this number thing here. So the format is like this. So basically what I want to do is want to replace the PNG extension with a sequential number. So I'm just going to open bracket. I'm going to say num. That means I want to it replace with a number. And then you basically tell it which number you want it to start with. So let's say I want it to start numbering them at 10. I would say num 10 and that would be it. And I close the bracket. That's the simplest thing. So let's just go ahead and say do it. Oh, we have to select the layers first. Say do it. Oh, I have to make sure that a um, comp is active. So you have the yellow um, outline around it and then go ahead and say do it. Aha. So when you when th this happens and you see, well, nothing's happening is because we're actually looking at the source name. You have to actually switch over to the layer name to see it renamed. So I'm going to go ahead and undo. So now now you can see under layer name when I say do it, you'll see that it gets renamed. So two things. Well, one, now there's no space. So let's uh, undo again. And you can actually just have a space before the keyword. You can add whatever. It's like space, dash, you know, whatever. So now, you know, that's nicely formatted. Um, other things you can do is you can do padding. So let's go ahead and undo. Let's say you wanted to have, you know, two, you know, like a couple of zeros padding beforehand. So you just add the zeros beforehand and it will respect that padding. It works. Um, no matter what you do. So let's say um, I wanted to start numbering it at five here. So it, you know, it understands padding very well. It's not just like it's three numbers. So that's the uh, second feature. And then let's say you wanted to change instead of having them increment by one, you wanted to have it increment by 10. So then you then in here in the special keyword, you would do comma and then ink. And then you basically tell it what you would like the increment to be. So in this case, I want the increment to be 10. So instead of going by one, it'll increment by 10. So I'll go ahead and undo and do it. So now you can see it uh, starts numbering at five and then it increments by 10 uh, instead of by one. Really cool. Uh, another request was to be able to replace the something with the layer number. So uh, another so we can switch this to be, uh, so if we go back to the help, we can see that layer number, which was there before. Oh, come on. All right, layer number, where is layer number? Sorry, layer index. Uh, layer index, we added a new feature called, uh, somebody wanted to be able to like pad the zeros in front of the layer index. So if you add some zeros in front of the keyword, it indicates um, padding. So if I just do layer index, uh, so let's go ahead and undo. So do it. So now it's inserted the layer index, but if I undo, if I now put a couple of zeros in front of the layer index, so let's say it doesn't matter. It's, let's say three zeros. That means it's going to pad it to three digits. So there you can see um, that's, you know, it's a, basically it's a way to tell it to do the padding, which is great. Um, and then, you know, you can, um, you can do it in all the scopes. So here, uh, let's say here, I wanted to change the numbering from one to nine to have them be, you know, I don't know, start from a hundred or even like you can have it start at whatever number you want. So now because it's already numbered, we're going to need to use a regular expression to capture the number. So if I turn rejects on and the, the notation for rejects is um, zero to nine, meaning find any number that's from zero to nine. And in this case, they're all single digits. So this would work. But if I had, for example, if this was actually comp 10, then this would not match because it's got two numbers. So if you just put a little plus at the end, it says capture any numbers in a row. So because 
one and zero are num two numbers in a row, it would capture it. So that's the regular expression to capture the number. And then what we want to do is we want to replace it with, uh, again, space dash space. And um, we wanted to do a num and say we wanted to have it start numbering at 200 with an increment of 100. So now we want to do this for project panel um, item names. So we go ahead and do it. And there you have it. It's renumbered the um, all the comps starting at 200. So new in version 1.2 is a new scope called selected property children. And that's really handy to rename things like puppet pins or mask names. So for example, here I have this just solid layer, but it's got four puppet pins. And I want to rename it from puppet pin to say, I don't know, dog pin. So I'll do search puppet replace dog. And of course, you can do all of the, um, all the, the other searching stuff. You can use rejects. All that stuff still applies. So what, the way it works, though, notice how it says pr selected property children. So you have to select the, the parent. So, for example, in the case of the puppets, you don't want to select the puppet pin itself, but the actual parent, which in this case, it's the form. So if I hit do it, you can see now it's renamed them all to dog pin. And same thing goes for masks. So if here for masks. So, if for example, uh, um, instead of puppet, I'll say search for mask and then replace with cat. And so, again, if I select the mask and I try to do it, nothing's going to happen because uh, that you could just do by hand, right? So, you could just uh, do it by hand. But what we want to do is, is batch and rename them. So, we select the parent, which is masks, and now we hit do it, and now it renamed them all to cat. So powerful new feature. Hope you enjoy it.